Hello everyone, this is Mochi. Welcome to my piercing tour and healing time and my experience on my piercing. Okay, hello. So we're gonna start with my piercing tour and my healing time and my experience on that. Before that, I have 70 piercing, one on face and 16 on ear. I actually have two retired ear piercings, so it makes the total of uh, 19 piercing. First, we're gonna go with what kind of piercing I have. On this left ear, I have my three lobes, one, two, three lobes and cosh, one flat and three helix. On this ear, I have four lobes, one, two, three, four, and I have my conch and three helix too. So it makes eight piercing on each ear and one is on my nose yeah right there is my face piercing the two retired piercing are on my right ear is on triggers and middle helix if you see it clearly i have scars over there for the middle helix my first ear piercing at the first look on my boot ear i got it when i was like six to eight years old i guess starting between the age my mom just bring me to a local jewelry store and they Pierced me with a gun. I didn't know why, but I remember how it feels like, you know. It don't hurt for what I remember, but the sound of the gun scares me a lot. And I got pierced with a 20 gauge earring. And right now I have this earring over. I will rate pain 2 out of 10. And uh, heels pretty well because maybe a flat or maybe my mom just took it from me very well. And we have the second loop ear piercing. Okay, so I got one was 16, it was last year 2021. Uh, I got it at a local jewelry shop too. Uh, with the kind, same experience, the kind sound scares me a lot too. I got a pierce with 20 gauge earring and the pain level also 12 then. And healing times took me 4 months and I have no complication with it. I swore to myself that I'm not gonna get any piercing anymore. I start to find that ear piercing like consolation. Ear piercing are so pretty. I saw it on the so I was like, damn, it's pretty. So I was just like, I gotta get it to ear piercing. So I got it. But the thing is, and I learned that I shouldn't use piercing gun in the first place. I was like, wait, I've been doing wrong. So I was like, oh my gosh. And then I just search, search. You need to use a needle, very sharp needle for the piercing itself. I did it myself. It's not a good idea, but I did it myself. I still study a lot, very, very lot from the hygiene and the technique. Then I tried to do it myself. I hear it cry every day. Shirt look pierces. I was like, oh yeah, I did it. And then I want to do more. I pierced myself with a 60 gauge hollow needles and I use 60 gauge power earring. Pen level are 3 out of 10. Treating the jewelry onto the ear piercing is a flat heart, so I guess that's why people say a risk to do it yourself because what if you pierce and then you can get the jewelry into your life? I use a treating. The piercing itself heals very great. Of the third look heals I did day 4. Piercing, look piercing. So I did it. Same experience. The pain is not that painful. Maybe I just like everyone have different pain levels. So I have like kind of high pain level. That's it. And then we move on to the cartilage piercing. I did it myself. So this is the first cartilage piercing. Or this right on the first helix. You can see right here. That's my first cartilage piercing. My first experience was like. Damn, it's hard. Just like hot burning feeling after a while where I pierced it. I don't know, but the piercing right on this left ear heals pretty well. All the three helix I did myself and the pain level was just say Part of them because it's not that hurt, but it still hurt. Just like a pressure pam and I was like fine. This piercing takes like one year to heal. And I have the conch piercing right here on the left ear. It heals about in like six months, seven months. It's so fast. I did it myself with 40 gauge earring. After that conch on the left ear, I have the conch on the right ear. This is the newest piercing I have. So that's why it's kind of like a little bit flame. The we take, you can see the bumps right on there. So got the three helix too right on this ear. It's just like I did it because I want, just want to mash it on the left ear. And the flat ear piercing are most likely like impulsive decision because I have a story of this flat piercing, very horror story. Okay, I have this piercing for over like a year. Now it's already healed. When first I got it, I did it myself. I use clean clothes. I sanitize everything. Everything is clean. And then it still got infected. 
At first, I was like swollen after getting piercing. It's like the whole ear are swollen, and I can't even touch my ear because it hurts so bad. And this side of my face just hurt, and I got sick. I got a fever, so it's like the infection is worse. I take about like five painkillers in the day that time. It's freaking painful. I didn't realize it was infection until I got fever. It's the ear piercing. Like, I have all this butterfly earring. It's not here. I want to show that to you. This is the next day. It was bleeding and hot. I don't know if you can actually see the difference. You can see that. The redness right there. She have done it at the piercing place. I've never changed it because it's just so hard. And by the way, I have all for my top piercing like helix and flat are leopard type piercing jewelry. And this side are leopard type piercing jewelry and the conch too. And this conch are pulver. We're going to the face piercing. So I have my nose piercing right here. I have the 6 and M ring. I did it myself too. I pierced it with this 18 cage I guess at the time. So this is the 16 cage ring. We are talking about the retired ear piercing. Okay, the retired ear piercing I did it myself first. So talking about the first helix piercing, I have the second college piercing which is middle helix. So middle helix like I didn't know why. Maybe because of my technique are wrong or my body just don't like that piercing. So I have to take it off because one heal. Show no sign of healing. It keep getting like irritated and palms. I grew tired of it so I take it off. And then before I get this conch piercing, I have the trigger piercing. But it just like seems like I pierce it too close to the edge. And I tried wearing earphone. I love earphone. I love wearing earbuds and earphone. It seems like it don't fix me with my lifestyle. And then I just take it off. And but it don't scars maybe because like still fresh when I take it off. I take it off when it was like two or three days old. But this one I take it off when it was like six or seven months old. It's a long time. But in one heal, so I was like sick of it. So Fine. that was my experience on. My piercing, body piercing. Will I get more piercing in the future? Yes. Will I do it myself? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it myself because I promised myself back then I'm not going to get your piercing anymore of a second look. But look at this. I have 16 year piercing on my ear. So I can promise that. But I might. But I think I want to get it professional ear piercing. What kind of piercing I'm gonna get soon? I would say I'm gonna get ear piercing. If on the body piercing, I don't think of anything yet. I think a nose piercing is just enough for me. But you never know, okay? <laughs> I think I'm getting a follow and maybe a root. And I clean it with this cellar solution every day. I bought it from a C cellar solution. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore, but anyways, I guess this is the end of the video, so thank you for watching. Bye.